Hayes, Team USA, and I am the 2022 FINA World Championship Broad Medalist. I was diagnosed with alopecia when I was seven, and at the time, I didn't fully understand it. It was definitely difficult to adjust to the changes. I do experience a few comments and stares every now and then, but that's one of the reasons I don't wear a cap, is to bring a little spotlight to alopecia and make people more aware of it. This is who I am, and I'm proud of it. Were you always sporty from a young age? I was. I had a competitive nature to me. So I was always, you know, competing with my friends in little games, and then I obviously went into little leagues. Um, I played softball, and I was a ballerina, but then I fell into swimming. At first, I wasn't really into practice. I was more into blowing bubbles and splashing around. But uh, then I realized and I started competing and I really like to um, win and swim. American debutante finds herself in the middle of the pool. Great experience for the 16-year-old. It's a world junior record to Hayes in taking the bronze. It's extraordinary. I'm overwhelmed with joy to be able to be on podium with my teammate. I also get a world record. I'm so happy. <laughs> Who've been your heroes while you've been growing up? I say Katie Ledecky. I watched her in 2016 absolutely crush the field, and I remember turning to my mom and be like, I want to do that. And I guess it's, it's really inspired me. Leah is, is such a great teammate. Um, she's young, but she's uh, such a hard worker and so mature and, and seemed to really feel like she belonged at this level. And so to see her win a medal at her first international senior meet like this uh, was incredible. So Leah Hayes with that world junior record, excellent swim by her. I was seven when I was first diagnosed with alopecia. I started off with alopecia areata, which is just like a few patches of hair loss. And then uh, throughout the next few months, we tried some treatments, they didn't work, and it escalated to uh, universalis, which is complete loss of body hair. I began wearing wigs to school, and they were not very comfortable. I did limit my activity. I couldn't do certain things because uh, my wig would fall off. I felt like I was lying to my classmates about myself. I wasn't being completely honest. What was it like coming to that moment where you were like, today's the day I'm going to tell people? How nervous were you beforehand? And then how relieved, happy were you with the response from people? It was so relieving. I remember when I had told my classmates and they came up and hugged me and applauded and Afterwards, I went to the restroom and whipped off my wig, and I just remember looking myself in the mirror and seeing me, me with no wig, just tr my true version of myself. It was like a breath of fresh air, truly. Three, two, one! Swimming helped me become more comfortable with my new look, because in swimming, you know, everyone wears caps. And, you know, I just had my flesh cap. And plus my wonderful supportive swim team and coaches helped me feel more comfortable with myself. One of the things it's taught me is kindness, acceptance, and humility. And I feel like it's really grounded me and helped me see the world in a different perspective. And in swimming, it helps me buy no drag. <laughs> I think alopecia is like, my own personal trademark, and I like to be recognized for it. She's such a great teammate, very encouraging, and just has such a great attitude. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what she can continue to do at this level. I think it's gonna be unbelievable. My dream is to make the 2024 US Olympic team. I'm gonna to try to earn a medal for the US, and to be received as a role model, it's truly an honor, and it helps me through my differences as well to know that what I'm doing is making a difference. It's an honor and it's a blessing. <laughs>